breaking news! There's going to be a new member of the Adams family! <laughs> Are you ready to meet the baby? Watch the exclusive footage only on Lalalu! <laughs> Let's start with the pattern. Fold a piece of paper in half and draw the outlines of a dress. Cut the front and the back. Now, let's get some fabric and outline it with a marker. Cut the two pieces out. Hot glue them together. We just need to turn it right side out. Time to try it on. Morticia has a baby bump. Tie a satin ribbon below the chest. Decorate the front with black rhinestones. Morticia doesn't want to be tan, but how can she stay pale if it's so hot outside? Let's make a shawl out of chiffon fabric to protect her pale skin. Use a couple of pieces to make puffy sleeves. Put on the sandals. Oh, cara mia! Do you like them? Not spooky enough, but fluffy pom-poms make them look better. Secure the shawl with an invisible belt. Gomez, I have some news! We are having one more little monster! No, I'm not talking about Uncle Fester! <laughs> oh, cara mia! Let's dance! This is the worst news ever! Baby, your daddy Gomez will teach you how to throw knives! <laughs> it's so great to have some me time and a cocktail! <sighs> Mom! Mom, are you here? Oh, looks like I'll only have peace and quiet in my grave. It's good that we can't hear the ultrasound. The baby would be so loud. Use a pattern to cut bats out of sticker foam paper. Glue on pairs of eyes. Can they blink? Use a sequin and a jump ring to make a pacifier. One bat, two bats. There's a whole flock of them now. I'll put the bats on the gates. My family will love them. Is that a yellow balloon? Yuck! It's so tacky! Take butterfly-shaped sequins and cut the lower wings so they look more like bats. Put them inside the balloon. Bats like to hide in dark places. Slightly inflate a balloon and paint it black. Let it dry. Paint a white spot and glue a sticker. Write baby. Add a wire and it's done. All the Adams relatives are here to congratulate the Adams family on their new baby. Gomez, pop the balloon and make some noise. So many dead flowers. Thank you. What about the baby? Pour air dry clay into a silicone mold. Smooth it with your fingers. Remove the extra material with a modeling tool and rub some water over the halves. Close the mold and leave it to dry for a day. Voila, what a cute baby. Smooth the attachment points and rough edges. Ma, ma, mustache. Oh, baby said his first word and already chose a personal style. Make hair out of light clay. Draw eyebrows and pupils with black acrylic paint. Outline the eyes with a fine liner. Draw lips and a thin mustache. Highlight the cheeks and the body with pink dry pastels. What a beautiful baby! He has a dark future ahead of him. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's time for the ritual. Ancient magic from here in. Let this baby's life begin. Yay! A new Adams was born! Look at this mustache! This hairline! <laughs> Gomez, he looks just like you! Cut a diaper pattern out of black foam paper. Secure it with hot glue. Glue ribbon pattern paper with fish skeletons on top. What should I call you, my little monster? I hope this black diaper will last until Grandmama sews some more. <laughs> 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 
Take a plastic cup lid and cover it with black acrylic paint. Cut a circle of the same size out of fabric. Glue the fabric to the inside. Don't forget to decorate the outside. A piece of black lace is just the right style. Remove a few metal rods from a head massager. Glue a massager to the other plastic lid. Put the rods through the lace and secure them over the crib. Bend a wire to make a hook for a canopy and a mobile. Add a piece of tulle. And Bugs won't bother the baby anymore, unless he wants to be bothered. Still, a mobile sounds like a better toy. Use a metal jump ring and make a loop out of a cord. Look at these hanging decorations. A shovel, a knife, a saw, pliers. Everything the baby needs. Hang the mobile on the jump ring. Great! Huxley will have something to play with. And he'll learn some important skills, too. Lurch is checking the crib. And Grandmama is chanting some sleeping spells. Make a baby bottle. Glue a wooden bead to a plastic one as a lid. Cut a piece of a plastic stick and add it to the top. Paint the bottle white. Choose the right sticker. Now Pugsley will drink from a jack-o'-lantern bottle. Wednesday, bring the milk bottle. <laughs> but we'll only get it next week. Cover a plastic cup lid with fake fur. Paint the inside black. Make a ball out of fur and glue it on. Now the spider's head is in place. These eyes that glow in the dark will remind kids to put away their toys. Pipe cleaners are perfect for spider legs. Bend them one by one and then glue them to the spider's body. It's ready! I wish this spider could move the toys with his legs. <laughs> it's a pity Mom won't let us have a real spider. Let's make a zombie horse. Make two small balls out of modeling clay and attach the neck to the head. Shape the head. Add some muscles and bones that stick out. Insert a wooden stick. Cover the doll with white acrylic paint. Paint the nostrils, the eye sockets, and go over the rest with a half-dry brush. Put a decorative hook inside the jaw and pull a bridle through. Add a bead to the bottom part of the stick. Yay! This zombie horse isn't the fastest, but he can scare away all the neighbors. Unless the neighbors moved out already. Pugsley, did you notice that our horse is acting weird? He almost threw me off. I did notice. Even the spider is hissing at everyone today. Looks like I know what the problem is, Pugsley. His power is disturbing the rest of the toys. You were right. Mom can babysit him from now on. Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. What a cute little trickster. <laughs> No, he's a gentleman. I hope he inherits your dark magic, Morticia. Enough talking. It's time for a family photo. We need to update our dusty old photo albums. Snap! this video if you had fun with the Adams family today <sighs> and subscribe to Lalalu and click on the bell so you don't miss any of our new videos <laughs> <laughs>